Before we get into the truly horrific details in here, remember this is a young woman who is described as brain damaged and blind and a quadriplegic. Phoenix 911. Oh, the baby's turning blue! Baby's turning blue! her parents were promised female only staff and caretakers would attend to their daughter. But she is aware of music, of familiar voices. She feels pain. And while we are respecting her privacy and not using her name, she is much more than just the patient in all this. She is truly a survivor. We have worked virtually nonstop every day, every night, seven days a week, trying to solve and resolve this case. The staff were aware that she was pregnant until she was uh, pretty much giving birth. How were they alerted to the fact that she was going into labor? From, from what I've been told, she was moaning, um, and they didn't know what was wrong with her. Thirty-six-year-old Nathan Sutherland assaulted the victim while he was caring for her. Nathan Sutherland is really none of the things you would expect. He's a Haitian immigrant. He's been an LPN for years, and he's a Christian rapper. It'd be very, very tough to believe that medical personnel were seeing her, treating her, and couldn't realize that she was eight or nine months pregnant. It's board calling situation horrifying, adding they're cooperating fully with police. Hussey in his most recent state inspection, ending in six citations. Sutherland is a licensed practical nurse who was responsible for providing care to the victim during this time of sexual assault. You can see him making his first court appearance there. That happened just today. The pain, the damages, my refusal to forgive my biological mom has, has done to others through me. I didn't realize I was capable of such evil, disturbing act. DNA evidence proved he is the father of her baby. We owed this arrest to the victim. We owed this the rest to the newest member of our community, that innocent baby. He um, was always clean shaved. His hair was always nicely done. It's completely different than what I see on the picture today.
I was in and out, and um, he would stay in the room, um, you know, dealing with the patients. By himself? By, yeah, by himself. When you're in a vegetative state, uh, you're not breaking so the autonomic nervous system is controlling the body, uh, the uterus is contracting just as it would in a woman who is not in a vegetative state, uh, so all the functions of labor are in place. But in a case like this uh, where the patient was getting appropriate medical care, uh, the correct course of action would be to do what we call assisted second stage of labor. Uh, we let the uterus contract and contract on its own while monitoring the baby until the cervix, the opening of the uterus, gets completely opened or completely dilated. And then at that point we assist in the delivery. The baby boy's 29-year-old mother has been in a vegetative state since the age of three and gave birth on December 29th. It's been nearly three years. One of our patients just had a baby and we had no idea she was pregnant. Since an incapacitated woman gave birth at Hacienda Healthcare. Do you plead guilty or not guilty? Guilty. The judgment and sentence of the court defendant be in prison in the Arizona Department of Corrections for the aggravated term of 10 years. I'm sorry. You didn't deserve to be hurt, no matter what was going on in my personal life and the demons I was, I was fighting.